to Estrella. When you left, all the birds in the sky seemed to quiet. Our hearts hung low in our chests and the world seemed slightly less light. Loss is an empty feeling. Estrella, we held our breaths as you struggled for yours, watched hushed as on TV. You, then fearless and frustrated, said, I want to help, but I just don't know when. I've been reading messages of support people left you from then, online and in books, their memories of you spilling and pouring out. Your happy clapping for carers in the hospital car park, that rosebud smile bursting forwards, filling the space. Or you snoring, blissful in the break room, imperfect in your warmth. When you worsened, bits started to break and we broke with you. It was surreal to see you held down by drips and wires as though any second you'd stand, turn off the ventilator, Shake loose the tubes and dance like you did on DPU. <laughs> Drip holes as props. A microphone, maybe. Your singing laughter filling the space. I half expected your bruised arms to turn into wings and fly from this place. Did you hear our voices? Feel us hold your feathers where hands used to be. When you left, the air was heavy as your lightness was gone from it. You were the opposite of death, part flesh and part sunshine. People's memories from stroke and ED focus most on how infectious your luminous smile always seemed to be. Were you sipping hot water for warmth, learning awkward assertiveness and your green-fingered sewing skills, busy hands organising Christmas parties and giving hugs and hugs and hugs. All understated understanding, flowing from everything you did with students gravitating towards your patients. You talked of your family with adoration, your dog with a glint in your eye, <laughs> those sparkling kind eyes as you held sad hands, smiling, saying, it's going to be okay. It's all going to be okay. So many people wrote such nice things, like I was your student, because of you I joined ED, you stayed with me when I was scared and alone, you missed more than you'll ever know. The world feels empty now. There's a massive void in my heart, but my memories will never be taken away. You were the most beautiful person I ever worked with. You moved to the other side of the world to fill teams with light for 20 years. The NHS was lucky to have you and people burst with happiness the few times. Your quietly dedicated dignity, your constant kindness, was recognised in hampers and awards. You will transcend. Living on in these fragments of memories, will carry you with us. Seek refuge in them. Be better nurses and people in your honour. Hundreds attended memorials for you across East Anglia and online, in hospitals and churches. They clapped for you in the same car park you clapped, and £60,000 was raised for your family. Priests and princes prayed for you. Flags were flown at half-mast. The cathedral held you in their memory. And I'm sure you would have been embarrassed by all the fuss. But you should have seen it. Your family asked us to wear white, bring white flowers. When you died, it snowed for a week and all of Norwich wore white. People made snow angels and saw robins and swans watching them in the snow.
Then it was suddenly spring. The snow melted. I saw the first rose of the year. It made me think of your smile. I've been going to churches. Trying to find some peace, I think. I'd never seen the wishing tree in the hospital chapel garden with a single bird on it. Today, it was packed so full of birds, they looked like leaves in the half-light. Until they moved, tiny beaks silhouetted by the warm light of the setting sun. Their singing laughter, filling the space.